Sound waves and light waves change speed when they pass across the boundary between two substances with different densities, such as air and water. This causes them to change direction and this effect is called refraction. If a light ray hits a block of glass at an angle, its speed and direction changes. Where the line hits, we draw a line perpendicular to the glass block, called the normal. From the normal, we can measure the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. The angle of refraction is always less than the angle of incidence. The ray then leaves the glass block parallel to the original ray. When waves meet a gap in a barrier, they carry on through the gap. However, the waves spread out to some extent into the area beyond the gap. This is called diffraction. The extent of the spreading depends on how the width of the gap compares to the wavelength of the waves. For example, when sound travels through a door, you can still hear it even though you're not standing directly in front of the doorway. But when light travels through a doorway, it casts a sharp shadow because the waves have only diffracted a tiny little bit. Diffraction allows radio and microwaves to be transmitted behind hills and mountains, so people who live there are able to get the connection. But having said that, I think this guy's kinda screwed. <laughs>